morning. Who's ready for day four? Five. What is the last count? Seven. seven. No, Walter. No, you're not. <coughs> Fuck, seven. <laughs> for those who didn't get the joke, for a bunch of us, this is day five of conferences in a row, and we still have three days to go. So who's been to Fosdem? Who never wants to go to Fosdem again? <laughs> But it's good, because this is config management camp. And we limit the seats so we don't get the full room problem. Um, if you've never been here before, this is how you get onto the wireless. If you've been here before, your laptop already knows. Um, for the, I lost count. Actually, this year I didn't even keep track of how many tickets we sold up till the point that people started complaining that the waiting list was enabled. Like, okay. Um, there's still empty seats. The overflow room is still not fully full, so I guess we're doing fine. And most of you that are not here are still recovering from yesterday. So, once again, we had seven. I think it was over 50 in the last time we checked, but 750 registered. There's about 360 seats in this room, the other one is 336, so add it up. We know that not everybody shows up, so that's it. I like to reuse this picture each year, because that is what Config Management Camp really is about. It is about different communities learning from each other, not reinventing the wheel. So we have people talking about Fox Pupilli, while they'll contribute to MGMT, wearing a Puppet Labs, no, a Habitat t-shirt. Um, oh, this actually was at the Puppet Contributor Summit. And then we have DevOps Days again to organizers who basically wrote the picture. So that's what we do. We have open source communities who talk about what they've been building, what they're building next, what they're good at, and where they've been failing. So keep doing that. Keep crashing each other's room. Uh, we've been trying to not have two focus tracks. So this year we actually have a CI track, we have a monitoring track, we have a security track, we have a track on case studies and all of those things next to the actual tools. For those of you who've been coming for years, you've realized that a couple of years we stopped handing out free food because, well, that just didn't scale anymore. So now the cafeteria is open. It's all the way down in that building. Uh, speakers, organizers, go see Tashan for the vouchers. The rest of you, you can do whatever you want for food. There's still light breakfast left. There's coffee, there's water, there's... You probably shouldn't be starving. Um, Cafeteria today serves gyros, hamburgers, and volavan, some pasta, and whatever, and salads. Um, Wednesday, we have a full day of workshops. This is the fringe of the fringe. Uh, please register. Um, the reason why we want you to register is so that we know which tutorials, which workshops are going to be the most busy, so that we can reshuffle rooms if some of them tend to be more popular than we expected because we can still do that now. If we end up on Wednesday morning with a room that needs 100 people and we only have room for 60, it's going to be awkward if we know that Tuesday evening, that's not going to be a problem at all. So, what are we going to do today? We're going to be slightly late because it's already 9.40. Um, but we have a number of really great speakers. Um, we have Rin, who's going to start, then Paul Stack told me he has no slides, he's probably still working on them, but at least he's here this time. <laughs> oh, you have slides. Oh. Um, Eric is going to talk to us about the history again. No. The future. The future. Oh. Um, this year we have two days of Ignite talks. So around 12.20, we're going to have short, five-minute talks. Um, they're going to be fun, and then there's going to be lunch. Tomorrow morning, we have John Willis, who's going to open at 9.30. Um, 
Bedent is hiding in front, uh, is going to continue talking about why we should not be using MacBooks. And Michael is going to talk about security. <laughs> For now. There's no schedule changes, but if there are, we'll announce them on Twitter and we'll be updating the schedule. So, as you saw, we, we don't give food anymore to everybody, but still we need some money to get this event um, up and going. So the whole Ghent gives us a venue, which is very nice, very grateful for that. Um, Inuit and Vantosh are the companies we work for, um, as we are the core uh, organizers. Um, the titanium sponsors are Ansible, um, currently owned by Red Hat, uh, or IBM, depends on how you see it. Uh, SaltStack, um, Isinga, it's a monitoring tool, they're a platinum sponsor. Um, then we have a whole bunch of gold sponsors, uh, Red Hat again, um, with the Foreman Project and Pulp, um, Rudder, uh, Puppet, Schuberg, Phyllis, Suze, Kangaroo, and Ota. Um, so all of these sponsors actually have boots in the main hall. Please go visit them. Um, we have free coffee, we have free croissants because of these people. So just go and say hello, um, thank them, and then we can do this next year again. Um, there are other sponsors like Hashikar, um, City TV, which does our recording, and SIGIO, which does our streaming and our second room. Um, Axis Attics, Example 42. And we even have Francis, who has been sponsoring us at a, a lower level, but at a personal uh, level. Um, so these are people who try to help us out. Um, and yes. Heavy yes. <laughs> And then Chris will be talking about lies. Lies, damn lies and statistics, which is what you're all here for. Yeah. I know by now the history is completely irreadable now. We've got a bunch more communities and these are the, the figures we get from when people register and say, hey, I'm interested in this thing. Well, we, we added a whole bunch this year. So we actually added a whole bunch of communities this year. Um, so some of the graphs you will see are not full history yet. Um, and next year we will have better graphs. <laughs> There's at least some people who understand the concept of statistics because these are lies. But <laughs> Well, we started out with some short of 400 people the first couple of years. We've been stagnating at 750. And this is the evolution of the room sizes. Um, there's a couple of new things that for some reason have been declining since last year, but it looks like everybody's losing interest in everything. Every single community has been... <laughs> Every single community has been having less interest than what we had last year for some reason. Um, what is clear is that there's a lot more interest in people in everything which is containers and a lot less in everything which is traditional configuration management. So we're evolving, not saying which direction. Um, and if you look at the newcomers, tools like Pulumi and Terraform, well not really real because they're almost equally old, we see similar patterns as what we've seen with Chad and Puppet before. And really similar patterns. So that's something you all need to think about. Okay. So we have the beer event this evening. Um, when you go out of the building, you walk completely to the end of the uh, host hall, and then you cross the road. Uh, the place is called The Zone. Uh, you will need a little bracelet, which will be in the sponsor area um, at lunch time or after lunch time. Um, and then you get free drinks for a limited time basically till our sponsoring money runs out. Um, have fun, but be responsible. Then we, we organize conferences as a living. Oh, no, 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 sorry, uh, we don't. But we organize another little conference called Load Days. 
Um, on the 28th and 29th of March, the CFP is still open. Um, it's an operations-oriented conference. Um, it's in Antwerp. Uh, so if you like Belgium and you like Belgium beers, you like Belgium chocolates, you're welcome to come back. Um, the CFP is still open there. And yes, enjoy our conference, talk to the other communities. The idea is that you get to meet people from other communities and be together with each other and learn from each other. And now I think Rin will do her presentation.